All right. So what we do just to kick things off, I'm going to hand uh, hand over the microphone to you guys and maybe uh, Andrew and Amelda, if you want to do a tag team. Do you want to just tell us a little bit about EVP, what you guys do, what your respective roles are? So I'm Andrew Hansen. Um, I'm the manager of Somerset Education Business Partnership. And what we do is we connect businesses across Somerset with schools and colleges so that young people know what jobs are out there and start getting ready for the workplace. So uh, my name is Amelda Leach. I'm the project coordinator at the EBP. So a lot of my role focuses on um, our communication with our audiences. So I'll look at things like our social media presence. Um, I work a lot with the website and the information that we have on there and how we can use that to reach our audiences as well. Um, and, and all of those types of communication throughout the project. So the digital side of things is, um, yeah, I work quite a lot in that area for the project. And what was life like before Control It? Did you have a website? Uh, how did it work? Uh, and then maybe reasons, you know, why, why you chose Control It. So we came into being as an education business partnership in April 2018. And we always knew that if you're going to reach 24,000 businesses and 35,000 young people across Somerset, then you're going to need an online presence to do that. So I started by building a free site on you know one of the free providers just to get an idea of how I wanted to package the information up and what we might want to do. But I always knew that we were going to need to purchase a domain um, to raise our profile and to you know have more control over over our presence. And I wanted a, a local provider really to to know that we had um, support on hand. Um, so it was quite a quick move from not existing through a free website to put in a tender out there to a few local Somerset suppliers. What were some of the key reasons you went with Control It and, and how did you find that whole sort of onboarding process? So with a tender, you know, we put the brief out there and then companies will receive that and think, well, what's this mean? How do we respond to it? And Control It actually got in touch with us and asked the questions that needed asking to find out, you know, what was behind the words? What did we really want? So when the proposal came in from Controller, it was tailored to what we wanted. So that was, you know, one standout bit. Yes, some of the other companies also asked some questions, but I felt that perhaps Controller took the greater interest, as it were, in the brief. And then also, you know, as with all tenders, it does come down to competitiveness and price as well. And Controller did happen to be the most competitive. I think... Um working with control it and, and working with you know your team I think one thing I would like to say is that they're always really responsive um really helpful and also just kind of helping us to understand what control it can offer that will kind of fit what we're trying to do because I think we have I know especially I, I'll, I'll speak to I have all these ideas and it's just kind of OK, how do we refine it and make sure that it's kind of going to meet the goals? Yeah, um, yeah. And that's really helpful because obviously I don't necessarily know all the technical ins and outs and know, know what you would like to achieve. But it's, you know, how yeah. do we do that in the best way um, that's kind of most productive and, you know. That's encouraging to hear. And development. Yeah, we well, don't know what you don't you don't know what you don't know. You guys know yeah. your mar market really, really well. We know digital and, and, and the website and stuff, and it's that merging of the two yeah. and stuff. But but you know, no, it's a, it's a classic example because you listen to your customers as well, and you're always playing around on your own site as well, which I always encourage customers to do. And then when when you do, you know what you can and can't do and stuff. I, I won't take up any of your more time and I really appreciate you coming on the call today um, and it's really interesting for us to hear you know reasons you know what you get out of control and stuff so um, yeah. yeah best of luck for the future thank you thank Andrew. you